the face is the place. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Legends. Yes, we're gonna do a little something today. I tell you what, I think that we're going to be playing around with my orc deck. That sounds like a good thing to me. I've got a quest to summon 15 orcs, and with this deck we should be able to do it relatively easily. So I lack some low cost cards because everything in here is basically an orc and I uh, wasn't able to find many orcs that were one cost. But it is a strength and endurance deck so we should be able to slam the opponent pretty hard, stay on the board pretty well. First up we have a couple of improvised weapons, so that's pretty obvious, 1-1 one, one and Breakthrough. Really really nice especially for the big attacking creatures, you want to get that breakthrough damage. Covenant Marauder plus 2 while you have no cards in hand, I don't get that bonus very often but Two attack, one uh, defense for a one cost card is pretty nice. Summon plus one for each enemy creature in this lane. Really nice, Dragon Tail Savior can bring it back around if you have a bunch of enemies in the lane. Especially if you give him Breakthrough. Um, he can get up to six damage and with Breakthrough he'll get up to seven. Which will smash those uh, two defense guards and still put five damage through on the enemy. So that's really really sweet. We got the Faroon Defender of course. 1-4 with Prophecy and Guard. Gravestone Ravager, kind of the opposite thing. It has Prophecy, but no Guard. And it is a 4-1. Orc Clan Sh Captain, uh, really nice. Plus one for every creature in the lane. One attack. So, obviously, this this deck is all about boosting that attack. Orc Clan Shaman, I only have one. It gives Breakthrough to other friendly creatures in the lane, which is pretty alright. Rothgar Kingpin, this is kind of what this deck is made for. I always want to draw one of these on the first turn if I'm able because every time I summon an orc he gains plus one plus one so he can get really really buff if he's left on the field for long enough. We got the battle rage orc, nice charge creature with two attack three defense. Chieftain's banner, friendly orcs have plus two defense, obviously really really sweet. I'd like to have a couple more of these but they're costly, they're a rare card, I don't want to summon too many. We got the more cool gatekeeper, he, he has prophecy and guard he also gives a creature plus two attack when he's summoned. He can give himself plus two attack, but usually I do it on a creature that I'm trying to buff up. Uh, we got Soul Tear. It's a shout. Draw a creature from discard. Usually I use that for a more cool gatekeeper, because that's one of the only uh, defending creatures that I have in this deck. Stronghold Patrol. Draw a card if you have two other strength creatures. Pretty self-explanatory. You want to keep your card count up, if possible. Unrelenting Force. Unsummon a creature with less than three power. This is pretty nice for getting enemy guards out of the way. Warrior's Fury. Oh, this is sexy. Give a random creature and item in your hand plus two, plus two. So if you stack those, get plus four, plus the item bonus, plus whatever the creature has, and yeah, you're just gonna wreck some stuff. I'll tell you that right now. Rothgar Artisan gives a creature plus one, plus one on summon. Kinda nice. Bankrai Butcher has plus two, plus two if you have another orc, and obviously I have mostly orcs, so. He, he usually gets that buff. We got the Yushnik Yal Archer. Dushnik Yal Archer. Uh, he is a guard with 3 3. But on his summon, he can also deal 1 damage or destroy an enemy support. So I usually like to save it until the enemy puts out a really good support and then smash that thing into the ground. We've got Garnag, the Dark Adherent. Players can't have more than 7 Magicka. Really interesting card to play, um, especially if they get the Hiss Grove, I think it's called where if they get up to 15 mana, they summon a couple of Swamp Leviathans, so Gar Knight can nip that right in the bud. I like it a lot. Orcish Warhammer, Breakthrough and plus three, plus three. It's really, really sweet. It's basically an upgraded version of the improvised weapons. Obviously, I like to give creatures Breakthrough, if at all possible. We've got the Stone Tooth Scrapper, 4-5. It's just a really solid card. I've got three of those. A couple of them are shiny. Battlefield Scrounger is about the only card that is not an orc, it is a red guard, but it's a 3-3 with charge and every time it slays an enemy creature on my turn, we'll put a random item into our hand, which could be anything. Sometimes it's really nice, sometimes it's not so much, but I like to play with that every once in a while. Militant Chieftain, draw a random orc from your discard pile, other friendly orcs have plus one plus one, pretty nice, obviously I do like to draw from that discard pile. We got the Wood Orc Headhunter, gains charge if you have another orc, so he's almost always going to get charge, and he already has breakthrough, so 5-4 four for 5 cost with charge, that's not bad at all. And finally, we've got the Peace de Resistance in this deck. 
which is actually what I got in one of my pack opening videos, and it is Gortwa Gro Nagorm. At the start of your turn, summon a random creature from your deck to a random lane. Oh my god, it's just so good. And with six health, he's gonna be on the field for quite a, a little while, so hopefully we'll draw him today, and we'll be able to do some, some major damage to the opponent. So the deck is ready to go. The Dayton is ready to go. Let's see what it be. Play. Yes. Give me a casual match because I'm nice and casy. Kajit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh wait, no, we're orcs today. We're orcs, led by a high elf. A high elf character portrait. Yeah, that that, that that's a good thing. Oh, all right. Steal yourself for battle. Another person with card backs. What is up with these people buying all these card backs? I don't understand. I'm not so attracted to it. Oh, and this is a colorless deck. Ooh, colorless is pretty recent development. So let's get rid of these cards, all three and fours. I'm not going to be able to play those for a while. We got an Orc Clan Captain, but that's not extremely great. Ah, it's difficult. I didn't get my Rothgar Kingpin on the drop, which is a little bit sad. So let's see what he decides to do. I don't think he's going to pass the turn. Colorless has got a lot of cheap cost cards. Unlike my deck. So Prophecy and Guard there, that's fine. And he gains a little bit of health. That'll do. I'm just going to pass the turn. I don't want to start cracking my ring just yet. I'm going to save it up until he has a creature that can attack and then I'll be like, okay. Now we gotta make some moves, but yeah, putting a guard in that lane, whatever. He has a little bit of mercy on me, he's like, okay. We start tonight. And uh, there's my orc captain, which hopefully he's not gonna just blam. I don't think he can, because he's colorless, so he's not gonna have a ton of action cards. No piercing javelin, no lightning bolts, no fire balls, things like that. Reflective automaton. Reflective automaton has all creature types. Interesting. So, let's get rid of this thing. Butt left. And then I'll bring out my more cool Gatekeeper, I suppose. Or we could do Rothgar Artisan. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, uh... Try this on for some. Drop that Rothgar Artisan. He has three attack now, so he can blam this thing. And I'll give the Orc Clan Captain 3-3 three, three as well. <coughs> Pardon me. So that should work out relatively well. He's not going to be able to kill any of my creatures, but I will be able to slap that thing around if I feel like it. So, we've also got a uh, Battle Rage Orc waiting in the background. Oh boy, look at that! I didn't expect that. Dwarven Dynamo gives another colorless creature plus three, plus three, and guard. Shit! Well, we can get the Militant Chieftain out here. That might be nice. Um, let's do just that. Other friendly orcs have plus one, plus one, so he doesn't have Into to be in the same way. I've embraced my rage. There we go. How's that? And do I want to get Let rid of Rothgar Artisan? I suppose I do. We'll just make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. So I think this is a persistent effect. It's not on summon, I don't think. So other friendly orc creatures will always have plus one, plus one, as long as I'm able to keep this guy alive. Which is my plan. He's got that assembled conduit. This assemble thing is really, really difficult for me to grasp. It's super hard. Because everything that's assembled applies to everything else that is able to be assembled. If that makes sense. So let's get the more cool gatekeeper out here. We've also got the Bankerai Butcher. Which could be pretty sexy. But I'll save it. I'll save it Close for just a minute. Let nothing through. And I gotta give this guy the plus two, right? I think so. That's a good thing to do, then I'll be able to take this thing down. He'll still be able to take me down as well, but, um, it be what it be. And then my we clan cap is back, so we'll go there. Enough. And as you can tell, I got a lot of damage, uh, that I'm able to pump out. Unfortunately, this deck doesn't have much control of the board, so things like, uh, int decks and endurance decks are really able to slap this deck around. It's, it's super hard unless you get the right drops to push through the enemy and make this deck happen. But it's really nice when it does. Dormant Centurion can't attack unless he played an action this turn. So he's probably got some actions waiting in the back. But that's alright. We gonna, we gonna see what it do. 
I'll send out my Farin Defender. You won't escape alive. That seems like a good idea. Bankerai Butcher can go in the other lane. There's strength in unity. Yeah, 7 6. That's Come what I'm me. talking about. And I'll break one of his runes. Why not? Enough. Getting close to breaking the next one. But not quite. So, yeah. We got some really nice uh, damage. That Farin Defender went from a, a 1 4 to a 3 5. That's surprising. This deck stacks really well. Just shove a bunch of orcs together. You can't go wrong with it, you know what I mean? Oh boy, what's this over here? Abandon Imperfect. Sacrifice Abandon Imperfect to summon an 8-8 Awakened Imperfect with Breakthrough and Guard in the lane of your choice. Oh boy. That's rough. That's rough, let me tell you. Um, so Rothgar Kingpin has finally arrived. So let's see what we can do with that. Come on, I'll put it in this lane. Me. And... I'll charge my way toward I'm that um, Dwarven Dynamo. What an honor. Bankerite Butcher, he doesn't have Breakthrough, so he's just going to smash that thing. Alright, now we got some steam. Little bit of steam behind these things. Enough. Let's make it happen, Captain. Oops, we got his Prophecy card. He's going to get a couple of cards on this turn. I'm going to break them runes up. So that thing has guard, prophecy, and guard. That's not too bad. It's not going to be able to take down my Rothgar Kingpin. So we'll just keep things going. This be good. I'll stick my Gravestone Ravager over there. Me. And yeah, another rune broken. And another prophecy card. Crap. Well, this could end on the next turn. It could be a very short match for him. Another oh, far. Far and Defender's got to attack the thing. Now he's going to break on through. But, uh,. I think we've got enough gas. I've got a more cool gatekeeper, so if I need something with a little more damage, I should be able to uh, to put it on whatever I like. Plus two attack, it's gonna make all the difference, I do think. Last gas, draw three different random one-cost creatures from your deck. Interesting. Fascinating, yes. Alright, so he hasn't played any actions, so these dormant centurions are doing basically nothing for him. Which is pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna slap the Orcish Warhammer on this Bankerite Butcher, and we're gonna get 9 damage on him. Oh, trick! <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. And all I need is 5 damage, so this Greystone Raptor is definitely going to uh, come right on through in the other lane. Super sweet! So that's the Orc deck. Hit the opponent hard, hit him fast, the face is the place. A worthy contest. A worthy contest. Wonderfully done. Those orcs, scary as shit. <laughs> oh, and I got three battle victories. That's that's pretty nice, too. So let's see what we get with a random card. I only took ten orcs to defeat that guy, so I'll have to play with that deck again. But obviously it's a pleasure to play with. You can build something similar uh, relatively easy. When you summon a dragon, draw a card. Blade Lookout. Eh, not too bad. Anyways, friends, this has been Elder Scrolls Legends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you'd like to see some more, please do let me know. Uh, either by liking, commenting, subscribing, something like that. It really does motivate me to uh, make these decks and put them out there. Obviously, I've got a few more decks left to showcase, but these first two were just kind of the easiest ones, the ones that perform the best. I'll probably tweak the other ones before I uh, unleash a video for them. But yeah, we've also got links in the description. We've got Twitter, Discord, Patreon, any of those things that you should like. I would appreciate you supporting me on any of those. Thank you so much if you've watched this far. I do appreciate it. Once again, friends, this has been the Elder Scrolls Legends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.